So, uh, you ever been fucked in the ass? What? A guy in a pillowcase, a clingy nymphomaniac, two chick cops talking about anal, and one dude trapped in the middle without a clue. You can't be fucking serious, right? <laughs> like he mine. From the makers of Serial Rabbit 5 comes the second to last worst day of my life. Watch it free today on Amazon Prime. A link is in the description. What's up, faggots? You bundle of sticks? <laughs> Terrence Pop here for Donculus.com. And Bad Pop showed up to give you some bad tidings. I got some bad news for the ladies and a no shit Sherlock for the dudes. But <laughs> for once, it's not coming from me. Instead, you can thank feminist Riley Pooper. No, that's not a real name, but judging from this picture, she's probably taken a uh, half a dozen cocks to the bullseye slot B, if you know what I'm saying. Riley Cooper is a professional writer who writes informative and creative articles on topics related to various fields of study. Written with love and enthusiasm, her articles inspire readers to broaden their knowledge of the world, think, and get ready to act. All right, gentlemen, get ready. I think we're about to have our minds blown from all this variety, and it's not the good kind of blown, if you know what I mean. You made a huge mistake. You pushed her into the arms of another man. Six things you should never do when you break up with someone. I'd rather roll solo than be with someone who doesn't deserve me. And of course, the article we're reviewing today. Why are so many smart and attractive women still rolling solo? Wow, there are so many various fields of study there. I think my cold black dead heart just skipped a beat. I know why so many successful, attractive women are running solo. <laughs> You're gonna love this. I made an acronym about it. Here it is. SOLO stands for Shriveled Old Lonely Ovaries. Oh my god, you're right. I don't need doctors at all. I just need a good friend. Gentlemen, <laughs> you know what time it is. Pour yourself the menagerie of alcohol because you're gonna need it. Cause we're about to dive face first into that clam chowder abyss known as feminism. Yeah. Have you ever wondered why so many smart and gorgeous women are single? Women who are actually smart and gorgeous? <laughs> They're not single, just saying, space girls. Harpies who think breaking the dick counter and failing the dick stacking test makes them smart and gorgeous? Hell, they're drowning in feminist Kool-Aid and the sea of clam chowder, which is 100 miles to the gallon. You can cry foul all you want and accuse me of being a slut shamer and you're sex positive. Wee? But the only thing positive about these harpies is their test for cervical cancer! Haha, <laughs> screen five. There is a god. They are not high maintenance, but down to earth, sociable, and caring. So why are they still rolling solo? Wrong again! Ha! <laughs> I need a shot. In fact, gentlemen, let's turn this into a little drinking game, shall we? Every time this bitch says something derogatory or false, take a shot and hopefully we'll all be standing at the end. Is there something wrong with you? Oh no, see, that's why we click. I get you, you get me. Here's a little news tip for you, Miss Pooper. Salt of the earth women have nothing to do with you and feminism. And you wanna know why? Because those women figured it out and they're already married. Space Ghost is on. Just because you claim to know a platoon of perfect tens with low expectations and big tits. I love that, but I'm supposed to believe you? They might look like perfect tens until they open their mouth. What makes you think I want to hear you talk? What? Well, they're single not because they think too highly of themselves or consider themselves to be superior to the rest, but because they have a hard time finding guys worthy of their love and respect. Wow! How could anyone argue with that kind of logic? <laughs> Take a shot, gentlemen, because it's about to begin. It's not like I think too much of myself. I'm not superior to anyone. The problem is you're just not worthy of me. It makes all the sense in the world, as long as you're a fucking idiot, screen five. And I need to get drunk. It's not that they're afraid of heartache, failure, or repeating past mistakes. Why not? Everyone else is. It's called being a human fucking being. Or that they're only interested in pursuing their career goals and climbing up the social ladder. No, it's their intellectual abilities and high self-esteem that prevents them from getting into a relationship with someone just for the sake of it. I find this incredibly fascinating, and I'm going to tell you why, but I'm just going to drink a little bit first. 
This is proof positive that the feminists out there are capable of seeing reality. But, ha <laughs> ha they simply choose to ignore it. Because pursuing their career and monkey branching up the social ladder is exactly why they're single. They tell themselves they're too smart and confident for the normal dude to handle. But, that's a feminist bedtime story winning? No. And that's what they tell themselves late at night when they're alone in bed and they cry themselves to sleep. Where? Meanwhile, her cat is coughing up a hairball into that cobweb-ridden snock pocket. Out of a million sperm, I can't believe you're the one that won the race. Our surprise. <gasps> a super smart and attractive woman doesn't want to waste her time and energy on a guy who can't keep up with her in all aspects of life. Being with someone who lacks confidence and feelings of affection and who doesn't bother to commit is out of the question. Welcome to Hypergamy 101. Get your syllabus, read it, because it's going to be a bumpy ride. All you need for this class is two X chromosomes, a number two pencil, and the answer to every question, slot C. You making up excuses for being a cock-hungry, money-grubbing whore is not going to put a ring on your finger any faster. Oh, and besides, that dude you're talking about here, he doesn't fucking exist. Think about it, a dude that lacks confidence and doesn't give affection, bitch please. A dude that lacks confidence is going to be three feet up your ass because he thinks you're going to leave him, which you probably will. On the flip side, you run into an alpha male who's brimming with confidence. He doesn't give two shits, fucks, or dams about you. He's out there slinging seed like an old bird feeder and doing it looking like a boss. He's already probably ran through all of your frenemies and filled them full of his bazooka juice, just saying. Here's the secret, honey, if you want to get affection from a man. Quit getting infection, screen five. <laughs> so if you want to know why so many intelligent and stunning women are still rolling solo, make sure you read the following seven reasons, and some of them may really surprise you. Seven reasons? Let's face it, that's overkill, because you really only need one. I'm gonna give it to you balls deep, and that tip's gonna burst your cervix. It's all your fault, because you won't take your own advice. When dudes go to other dudes for advice on chicks, you call us a bunch of idiots. And you want to know what? You are absolutely correct on that one. But when women want advice about men, they go to feminists. <laughs> and what happens next? These girls become the poster children for erectile dysfunction, and somehow it's all our fault. If you need Christmas gift ideas for your dumb millennial cousins this year, tell them to wipe their ass with that gender studies degree and give them the gift of financial advice. Purchase Bachelor Pad Economics on Amazon today. A link is in the description. Number one, they have high standards. These intelligent and gorgeous women are well aware of their worth and they won't accept from men anything less than what they deserve. Their guy needs to possess all the necessary characteristics this type of women are looking for in a man. Being strong, confident, independent, and driven matters a lot. And if men aren't prepared to keep up with them, they're not prepared to date them either. Of course, baby. It's not your fault you have a list of completely unreasonable expectations that was given to you by Walt Disney. It's not your fault you're an over-picky bitch who's childless and over 30. In fact, keep doing what you're doing, because you should never settle. Okay, we have a neurological problem here. There's something wrong with my brain? Oh yeah. Meanwhile, any man reading this knows these smart, attractive women think they're disposable. And you ladies get so pissed when us dudes return the favor, huh? Wah, cheers. Number two, they already feel fulfilled. This kind of woman doesn't need a guy to feel emotionally complete and accomplished. They already have loving families, amazing friends, and careers. They always look for new goals and passions to pursue. If they decide to be with someone, then he must respect and know how to deal with this. Okay then, why are you writing the mother of all guilt trips? You're trying to make men feel like sewer trash for not putting up with your bullshit. If you were so fulfilled, why do you judge yourself on what men think of you? And why do you judge yourself on how many likes you get on Instagram? When you post a bunch of pictures like this, of course they're talking to you because of your personality. You're in denial. No, I'm not! Oh, you got me. Number three, they don't tolerate bullshit. Yeah, but they get to decide what's bullshit, right? Kind of like Antifa deciding who is and who is not a Nazi. not surprising at all. These women are allergic to manipulators, liars, hypocrites, cheaters, and all sorts of phony people. Because they can't stand the competition. Haha, <laughs> screen five. 
They'll never let anyone juggle with their feelings, cheat on and lie to them. They've had this kind of crappy experience and heard the same lame excuses many times before and now they won't allow themselves to be manipulated again. Oh, what's this? This is the world's smallest violin playing just for you. Come on, bring it in. Listen closely. You did it to yourself, so go fuck off. You got these bad experiences because you let the bad boys run an express train of cock into all your holes. Because feminism told you that that would be empowering, right? But now you're covered with more ranch dressing than a salad bar after an earthquake. You want the nice guy to come along and pick up those worn out, wart infested pieces and pay full retail, right? Not gonna happen. When it's all said and done, you're gonna die opath. Old, poor, and powerless, and fat, or forgotten. And you want to know why? Because that's the life feminism wants for you. And you bought into it hook, line, and sinker. At the end of the day, karma and reality are going to spit roast you from both sides. <laughs> and it sounds sick, but I hope I get to watch. <laughs> Can you imagine that? Oh, she's really getting it now. If you're really into that, the <laughs> Space Ghost. You ever been fucked in the ass? Ew, no. Number four, they put a great deal of effort and energy in becoming accomplished in different spheres. These women do whatever they can to improve themselves on a personal and professional level. They don't wait for things to get done by themselves. Becoming better at everything they can is what fulfills and makes them feel good about themselves. They'll never trade this for a guy who is lazy or lacks ambition and commitment to shoot for high goals. This is something these women definitely can't stand. And that is exactly what MGTOW does, and you fucking shame them for it. But we're not talking about those dudes, we're talking about you. You spend all of this effort and get all this debt and put all this money into becoming exactly <laughs> what men don't want. And now you're watching your last fertility window slam shut like a time lock at the bank. And of course, you're looking for somebody to blame for that. I got news for you, woman. If your goal was to be a wife and mother, you don't need the gender studies degree and six figures in debt to make that happen. So you know what you can do? You can cry me a river, build yourself a bridge, and then jump the fuck off it because I don't care. Ain't nobody gonna miss her. Her wheel's turning, but I'm thinking her hamster's dead. Number five, the childish dream of marrying the prince on a white horse doesn't exist any longer. And you can thank feminism for killing all the princes and replacing them with the cuck white knights that they are. The smart and beautiful woman is way past the phase of waiting for her Prince Charming to come and sweep her off her feet. She no longer fantasizes about marrying the prince on a white horse who will come and rescue her from all the evils of the world. She doesn't believe in these delusions anymore. Because she's replaced them with all new ones, Screen 5. She knows that true love isn't a fairy tale. She knows that a meaningful, deep, and successful relationship requires much more than just enjoying spending time with a handsome guy. You seem to know so much, but you understand Jack and shit, and Jack just ran out of town. These women don't need a husband to feel safe and protected. They don't need someone to watch them while they sleep at night. They even know that they don't need a guy to have kids. They're not afraid to be single mothers and pave the path to their happiness on their own. Wow! You can thank feminism for that one. That is one hell of a death trap. I thought only men spent their time building those. In fact, I made an episode about it. Here it is. Feminism told you to live it up and be a slut in your 20s. And that's a slut, not a whore, because they get paid. The horizontal orientated entertainers. After 10 years of giving it away for free, you're expecting Prince Charming to show up and pay full retail for the blown out slot C hamburger roast that you have. I got news for you, honey. You probably met half a dozen, maybe more Prince Charmings that would have been excellent for you. And you sent them all packing. And you want to know why? Because you wanted to be a free spirit. And now you're in your 30s wondering, where have all the good men gone? In fact, I made an episode about it. Here it is. Are we ready for this, ladies and gentlemen? <laughs> ready on the right? Ready. ready on the left? Ready, ready in the front? Yeah. Select your switches on semi and gentlemen, watch your lanes. All those dudes, they're already married to good women and they're at home getting the steak cooked the way they want, a blowjob and a cold beer. Wah. And you, you're putting peanut butter on your slot C because that's the only way the dog will play with you, screen five. Wah. <laughs> The best gift you can give yourself this Christmas is getting the hell out of corporate land. Leave the old dinosaur economy where it belongs and flip the bird to the office life forever. Purchase corporate land on Amazon today. A link is in the description. Number six, they are never a second option. These women always come first and will never settle for anything less than that. 
Oh, Jesus. Something is blue in my brain pan. Oh, man, my thinking meat's getting jacked up. Oh, the irony is unbelievable. I need a shot. You just got done telling men you're not afraid to become single mothers. And now you're talking about how you refuse to take a back seat. But, <laughs> as a single mother, you will expect and demand that any dude coming in takes a back seat to your children. Oh, that's unless some bills need to be paid, the car needs to be fixed, and you need him to watch the kids while you're out getting plow shared by Johnny. If most guys are so naive to believe they can easily replace them with the first woman they find on social media, they're awfully wrong. Wow. Wow, that's the bomba of all weapons grade stupidity right there. Oh my god. You have just spent this entire article telling men they're not good enough for these women. So you can justify to yourself why you're alone and miserable. And now, you want to say men are the naive ones, right? I am sure you have seen a therapist at least once in your life, and the pills they prescribed are not optional. You should probably take them. These women have a sixth sense, and if they feel something strange is going on behind their backs, they'll stop that even before it begins. No, they don't. You're just stupid enough to believe they have a sixth sense. Get the fuck out of here. But what they really do is they take their paranoia and they use it as an excuse to become a betraying cunt. Sounds refreshing, but it really isn't. I bet you dollars to donuts. There's a thousand dudes out there watching this show who caught their significant other cheating and she turned around and pointed at him and said, it's all your fault. Comments below, I want to hear them. In fact, I made a whole episode about it called It's All Your Fault. Check it out. Oh, so it's all his fault, huh? Was he doing CPR on the dude's ass while he's plowing you? Huh? Was he in the room? No, fuck off. Number seven. A lot of guys feel intimidated by smart and attractive women. I knew it. We couldn't get through this article without this bullshit coming up. Fuck it. Space Ghost. You are not intimidating. You're simply just a bitch. And I made an episode about it. Here it is. Check it out and learn something. One may find it hard to believe, but there are many guys who don't prefer dating women who are smart, strong, and capable. They feel intimidated by women's intellectual abilities, determination, and strength. That's longer than two boys fucking in a Catholic church in the confessional. There is a big difference between being intimidated by someone and recognizing as a man that you will never be equal to a woman who thinks she's better than you. I'm not superior to anyone. The problem is you're just not worthy of me. But these women are aware of their power and they never allow themselves to downplay the importance of their goals and successes or act as if they're naive or stupid so as not to diminish the confidence of some guy who feels emasculated by their achievements. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. Please read me some more, bitch. That is rich, especially coming from a feminist. One that is hell-bent on emasculating men who simply don't want anything to do with her. So do yourself a favor, get yourself the crazy cat lady starter kit and watch your valuables because it's going to be one hell of a long bumpy ride. Because 40 to 80 is a long fucking time. These women have worked their asses off to get where they are now and they'll continue to demand the best in every area of their lives. And if men can't deal with it, then I'm sorry, but it's their loss. Nope, it's your loss. And statistically speaking, you're going to wind up in crushing poverty. Enjoy that shit. Men are not the ones writing these shitty ass articles. You are. You're lonely and you're pissed off and somehow you feel like you're still entitled to all of this bullshit. And that is why you're shaming us for walking off the plantation and refusing to play a rigged game. You say it's my loss. <laughs> I beg to differ. Because right now, you got three different types of dudes out there. One, you got the MGTOW red pill guys. They still get to keep all their fucking money and they get pussy. Number two, you get the dudes become incredibly wealthy and they go younger because they can. And by the way, ladies, only a man can pull that one off. In fact, it's the only male privilege left and we're not giving that up. Or number three, you get the dudes that say, hey, fuck these Western women. I'm going foreign. Boom, beer me. And you want to know why? because a lot of women in foreign countries still respect masculinity. So dudes, I want you to remember this and I want you to remember it well. She called us naive because we know that these smart, attractive Western women are replaceable. Because they are. You can't complain about that equal treatment now, can you? Because you're a feminist. You have been treating men like disposable diaper ATMs for eons. We're just returning the favor. And if you don't like that equality, Maybe you shouldn't ask for it in the first place. Because we all know it's not about equality. It's about dominance and special treatment. 
So you can go ahead and say we're naive, but we're not stupid enough to believe that. And we definitely don't believe these bullshit reasons why you're single. Wah. The blame and shame game, that's rolling into the station and all the dudes are getting off. All over your neck, back, thighs, and sometimes in your eye. The asshole didn't even warn me. No look out or a thump on my head, just brump right in your mouth, baby. Fucking prick. Right? So what'd you do then? First I swallowed and then I said, you're welcome, Mr. President. And then the Secret Service showed me to my car. Jeez. That's why I vote Republican. I know that shit stings, kind of like an empty bottle of vodka. So check out the links below, Patreon and PayPal. Send us a couple bucks, because this shit is expensive. But if that's not your bag, go to patrolbase.net and pick yourself up some genuine, redonkulous swag. And you dudes who are new to this channel, hit the subscribe button and the bell so you're notified when we make new videos. And for you ladies out there who are dealing with the shriveled old lonely ovaries, come on over to my place, it's the holidays. <laughs> I'll stuff your stocking. <laughs> Think about it. This is an oxymoron. A dude who lacks confidence and won't give you infection. Pl okay. Infection. You said infection. Oh. <laughs> oh, he'll give you infection. He'll give you infection, all right. <laughs> you want a, you want you want an, you want affection? How about you settle for an infection? <laughs> <laughs> How about a yeast infection? I mean infection. <laughs> <laughs> that actually, that'd be a good. You gotta write that down. Write that down.